No, it's not the Terminator's honeycomb. It's a Hong Kong egg waffle pan. First step, separate these eggs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, nope. Okay. <laughs> okay, seriously. Two bowls, one for the oaks, one for the whites. And now the rest of the ingredients. Three-fourths cup of milk, one and one-fourth cup of flour, one tablespoon of vanilla, three-quarters a cup of sugar, one and one-half teaspoon of baking powder, and three-fourths a stick of butter melted. Six tablespoons of melted butter. I'm going to take half of the sugar and add it to the whites and add it to the yolks. It's, it's an approximate thing. Don't worry about getting it exact. Just eyeball it. Take your white and sugar mixture and whip it until medium peaks. While your whites are whipping, <clears throat> add the butter to the yolk and sugar mixture. Then add your milk. And the vanilla. Add your flour and your baking powder. Now it's important to mix this until there are no more lumps. The lumps like the hide on the side. Don't let them. Add your whipped whites in two stages with uh, the folding utensil of your choice. After you've lightened it, add the rest. Here's where the folding happens. Up and over. Cut in, up and over. Cut in, up and over. And keep going until it's all lightened and incorporated. Keep going, don't stop. Now that the batter's almost done, now you gotta preheat your pans, both on medium heat. When both pans are hot, brush them with a little oil. You could use Pam, but I don't like the way Pam tastes. Both sides, please. Now take three quarter cups of your batter and put it directly in the middle of one of your pans. Spread it out just a little bit. And take the other pan, interlock it, squeeze and flip. Cook this for about a minute and a half to two minutes. And flip back over and cook for another couple minutes. About a minute is up. Give it a check and see. Oh, it looks beautiful. Golden brown and delicious. Place your Hong Kong egg waffle on a sheet rack to cool for a minute so it can crisp up. They're quite floppy out of the, uh, ow, out of the pan. Once your waffle has cooled just a minute, you can break it apart into pieces and they get really crisp and all these little eggs separate into a little fun thing. Enjoy with sugar or maple syrup or fruit or uh, just by themselves. They're a fun little popping snack. Yes, yes. I think the Hong Kong egg waffle is a lot of fun. And if you have the 50 bucks to spend on the pan, totally worth it.